have decided to do my empties videos bi-monthly just because I really don't have enough products in one month to talk about. Um, and now there's a, a few products to talk about, so that's really exciting. If there's a month where I have exceptional much <laughs> to talk about, I will do it just for that month. Otherwise, it will be bi-monthly from now on. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do my empties video for January and February. As I just said in the small clip before uh, I actually started this video, I'm going to do it bi-monthly just because I don't have enough product in one month uh, at the moment. So for me having things to talk about, decluttering and empties wise, Every two months is going to happen. Let's just begin with my declutters this month. And I do have a few. I do. Order first. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight products that I am decluttering this month. Um, and I want to talk to you guys about before I trash it completely. Three products I want to talk about are my glitter palettes. If you saw my whole collection intro introduction, you know that I pulled the purple one, I think, in all the rage. And if you saw the video, you also know that there was mold in one of them. Yeah, still disgusting. And I checked on the other two palettes that I have and there were beginning kind of mold liquid in the glitters. <sighs> so disgusting. <laughs> so it was time to let these go. I have used them like one or two times each. Not every single shade, so that's that's a bummer because these are really pretty. I'm just not a pressed glitter fan. You know? I have some loose glitters, but they don't really go bad because there's not liquid in them to bind them together. So I just think I'm going to be a loose glitter pigment kind of girl and not palettes. So these are the W7 Press to Impress glitter palettes. So I have a blue and silver one in style icon. And then we have All the Rage, which is the pink and purple, red, silver palette. And as you can see there, they are the mold. Ew. <laughs> so disgusting. And then the green gold, maybe the Christmas one, in Invo. I'm just going to trust them. They are so disgusting. But yes, that's just a thing that I'm not going to buy anymore, I think. Well, I didn't buy them. I got them in PR long, long, long time ago. And the same with these three. I also got in like PR, so I don't really mind them going bad because I didn't pay for them. These are the W7 Kiss and Gel Soft Gel Lip Liners. And I was going to use the pink one, this one right here. And it has totally dried up. Rose and Spice and Pink. I have decluttered out the red one last year, last January. I decluttered out that because I kept sharpening it and it kept breaking and it was dry. These just dried up last month, in the beginning of February maybe. They are going out of my collection, they are so dry. Yeah. Can you see the product? I don't want to waste my time. I have other lip liners that I like more. The lip twisters. <laughs> and so yeah, these are just going. I don't even think you can buy them anymore. So I am decluttering a bronzer or a contour shade. Maybe it is a blush. It is everything <laughs> in one. Basically, it is the NYX blush in taupe. I bought this when I lived in Germany, I think. And that was like 2015. 2016. I bought it in 2015. So it is like five years old now and I have tried to use this up for like one or two years. Um, and this is how far I got. I don't reach for contour shades. I am a bronzer girl. I have a few contours in my collection in a palette from NYX. Ironic. Yeah, it is old. And I bought it off eBay, so I'm not even sure if it is real or not. I'm just, I'm just over it. I don't want to use it. And if I want to use something, I can use the palette. So that is, that is going. And it is even in the old packaging. So it's not even in the new NYX 
blush packaging. The last one that I'm decluttering is an eyeshadow from this palette. It is the Dove 7 in the City Natural Nudes palette. And I'm decluttering the last shade, this shade right here in Andrea, Andrea, Andrea. It's a very dark gray, almost blackish shade and I don't use those shades at all. I have used up these two uh, lighter shades and then these three shades I have repressed together in like a um, magnetic single pan. And that lives in my C palette, magnetic palette for my brows. And when those three eyeshadows are gone, I'm just calling this quit. But yeah, I'm decluttering that shadow just so it doesn't turn up in my inventory anymore because I don't want it to. Let's move on to the three makeup items that I have used up in February and January and to be honest I used them up in January. The most exciting one I think <laughs> I have been working on this since I got it basically because I only buy one at a time and um, it is a W7 Perfection Pore Minimizing Primer and I have not bought this again. I don't need it anymore. I'm really excited to not having to apply two primers to my face every single time. I have to do my makeup anymore. But I have been using this for the past three or four years. I go through these once a year. So, so that is really exciting that I don't have to spend money on this anymore. Even though it was not a lot of money. It was really, really cheap, but it was really good. It's a really good pore minimizing primer if you want something to hide your pores. I used it only here uh, besides my nose and you don't need a lot. So that is why it took me, <laughs> a, it takes me a whole year to go through this. But yeah, apparently I'm using some skincare right now that does the trick and that is really exciting. And of course I'm going to keep my yearly makeup empties as well this year. Then we have the W7 Flawless Face Pressed Powder. This was the last powder that I had in my collection um, and I was so excited that I could go buy new ones. <laughs> so now I have two completely new powders that I love. It was a color correcting powder. Why am I showing you the empty packaging? It has some dots in it that was color correcting and it did color correct my if my foundation was too light or too dark. So that was well, that was really nice because I do mix my foundation to have the right shade. And if it was a little off, this always corrected it to the uh, same color as my skin, which was really nice. And the last one is my W7 Safe by the Gel Concealer. This was a nice concealer. I don't love it. It was on the darker side and I believe there is only one shade so I will not buy this again but it is completely empty and I'm really excited to not use this anymore. <laughs> it is a nice uh, medium coverage concealer that is lightweight so average. There's so many concealers like this on the market so I don't miss it at all. Okay, okay. let's take two empties that are not really exciting. A toothpaste. Wow. It is the Syndium Classic toothpaste. Just an average one that I don't like at all because it doesn't foam. I'm weird like that. And then we have a TMI product because I needed this. I just needed it, okay? <laughs> As you know, I gave birth to my baby girl in uh, the end of the September. She came a little early though, but after that, that area of my body really needed to be clean and I needed it to be very clean and I needed to clean it a few times a day so I got this in a free baby package uh, when I was pregnant with her we can go collect those and this was in one of them it is the Le Brasse, Le Brasse Daily Intimate, Intimate Wash Gel so it's like a shower gel for your lady parts that is willing Sort of still. That's disgusting. <coughs> I have no idea what that is called in English, but that was disgusting. So I just used this up here in February and it took me a long time, but 
you don't need a lot so after a month or so i didn't wash it daily so then it was only time when i went when i showered and that is like once or twice a week so it's done now now i only have one again so i really wanted to just knock out this small one i'm not going to buy that again even though i liked it i don't know if the is cruelty free is it i don't think it says this one though, I am going to buy again, but because I don't really leave the house much, I can't go get it. Um, this is the Skin Academy Pure Cleansing Facial Scrub. I have gone through it before, so I really, really like it. And it is suitable for sensitive skin, fragrance-free and paraben-free. It's just an exfoliator and I use it every time every single time I am in the shower. It is very gentle but effective. I have kind of combination skin. So oily in the T-zone and dry over here. When I haven't masked or exfoliated for a while, you can kind of feel on my nose that it needed a good clean. And there's like a layer. It sounds disgusting and weird. But when I use this, that l layer disappears. Does that make sense? I'm not a skincare guru. I don't know what I'm talking about. I just know an exfoliator works when I feel that on my skin. So I just use a facial scrub exfoliator every single time I shower and that is again once or twice a week so that works, right? <laughs> I don't think it says how often you are going to use this but again I use it once or twice a week and it is cruelty free and it is very good and inexpensive. It's really good. I love it. Then we have this one. This is something I have bought again. And there's like dust and Felix has all over it. <laughs> it is the Mato Smile Micellar Water that I use to remove the rest of my eye makeup and mascara. It's so disgusting. Look at it. Ew. <laughs> but yes, this is really, really good. And it is a big size. Mato's is like the Danish version of Ulta. Maybe, I think, um, because it has all the beauty products and stuff like that in it. This one has a really nice closure on it. Can you see that hole? Then you can open and close it like this. That is really nice because I thought it was so nice and I really like the product. There's like a liter or something in it. Why does that say how much there's in it? That's weird. Oh, there. Yeah. <laughs> 500 minutes so half a liter in it and it is not very expensive the straps for matas is is always on sale for some reason but i really really like this so i bought it again but guess what it doesn't have the same nozzle i'm so i'm so annoyed it has a screw cap like a regular cap and not like this this is just really handy but apparently not and now i have the dust all over my hands but yeah, I did buy this again and I do love it. I do. The last product that I want to talk about is my The Body Shop that is also disgusting with hair. It is the Banana Truly Nourishing Hair Mask for normal to dry hair. And I do have normal to dry hair because my hair is fine. It's kind of dry. It's kind of normal as well because it gets oily, natural and... Yeah, I don't have frizzy hair, I don't have curly hair or something like that, it's just fine. So this was really, really good at my hair and I really liked it. But I'm not the biggest fan of the banana scent. I love bananas, I love banana cake, but banana hair mask? Not really. I really like to eat bananas, but in my hair products and skincare and stuff like that, I don't think I will buy that line again. I do think... I have a banana shower gel, but that is a little size, so that's okay. I just ordered a few products from Matas. This brand, the Stripes, it was on sale, so I just did it, and that means I don't, I didn't buy anything from from the body shop this time around. But next time, I do think I will try my hardest to remember to buy body shop. It's just a little bit more expensive. <laughs> and 
I don't want to spend all my money on skincare and hair care right now. I will buy a hair mask from the Body Shop again, but I don't think it will be the banana scent. So that was all my empties for this month, I was going to say, these two months. And I hope you still like seeing my declutters and empties in the same video. I hope it wasn't too long either. I really like to combine them and I do love watching those videos when it is combined. I do like a big declutter, but I just declutter here and there. I don't do big declutters on my channel or in general. So this just makes more sense to me. I hope you guys enjoyed that as well. Please check out my other panning videos on my channel. I have a lot going on and I hope you guys are going to stick around for my next video and take care until then. Bye! Yeah.